You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. Togogo here. Barely a decade old, Tesla is already gigantic and adored. Morgan Stanley calls it the world's most important car company. And a 2014 American Nationwide survey found that Tesla's Model S was the most loved vehicle in America. Other seasoned manufacturers such as BMW and Mercedes-Benz are now getting involved in the fully electric movement. Even Apple is said to have an electric car in the works. So how did this all happen? In this video, we'll find out exactly how Tesla began, learn some amazing facts about the company, and then we'll see just how big it is compared to other traditional car companies. You may just learn a thing or two, so let's get straight into it. Contrary to popular belief, many of the first cars in the late 1800s were actually electric vehicles. Well, the first electric cars were actually uh um, carriages with electric motors because electricity had started to come in in the 1890s. We do have a photograph of a number of those cars in front of Delaware Park Casino in 1902. As we move forward, it was discovered that incredible amounts of money could be made by selling petrol and electric cars faded by the wayside. Now, if you're interested in beating the pump, it's hard to beat an electric car. The problem with electric cars is there isn't a single practical, reasonably priced new electric vehicle on the U.S. market right now. Ten years ago, Detroit seemed positively plugged in. The electric car is here. General Motors built and leased about a thousand of the fabled EV1s after a California law mandated sales of zero emission vehicles. I think it's the future. I'm I'm happy. But by 2003, California backed down. GM repoed the EV1s and destroyed them amid protests. They are fearful of how disruptive plug-in cars will be and how unattractive their old product line will appear. Over the years, the electric car never really saw much hope. But in July 2003, a world-changing event happened. In this year, Tesla Motors was founded by Martin Eberhand and Mark Tarpenning. The very next year, Elon Musk invested heavily into the company and joined Tesla's board of directors as its chairman. From the beginning, Musk consistently had a vision. He wanted Tesla to be something special. Its long-term goal was to create affordable mass-market electric vehicles for everyone. Musk oversaw the detailed product design of the company's first car, the Tesla Roadster. He oversaw components ranging from the power electronics to the headlamps and other styling. Elon's design was so good that he received the Global Green 2006 Product Design Award for his work on the Roadster. The Roadster was the first production electric vehicle with a range over 200 miles or 320 kilometers on a single charge. In 2007, Tesla went from strength to strength and received investment from prominent entrepreneurs including Google's co-founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin. However, in 2008, the fallout from the world's first ever global financial crisis forced Tesla to cut their workforce by 10%. This included key personnel who had been involved from the very inception. The Dow traders are standing there watching in amazement. I don't blame them. A lot of their customers are freaked out waiting to see how low the Dow will go. In late 2008, after being on Tesla's board of directors, Elon Musk became the CEO and he contributed $70 million of his own money into the company. He really believed in his vision for the electric car. In 2009, Tesla received a loan from the US government which supported the engineering and production of the Model S sedan. Interestingly enough, by 2013, Tesla had fully repaid the government, while Ford and Nissan, who had received a similar loan, hadn't. Tesla unveiled the Model S all-electric sedan on March 26, 2009, and by August 2009, the company had finally become profitable. In 2010, Tesla went public. It was the first American car maker to go public since the Ford Motor Company in 1956. Tesla's success is just that more amazing because of the public's resistance to electric cars. Previously, electric cars were seen as quirky, strange devices and almost never taken seriously. 
To prove themselves, they just had to be better than a traditional car in every single way, so no logical haters could even exist. Well, okay, you might be asking, how exactly is Tesla better? Well, it's not a hybrid, which means that the only liquid that needs topping up is the wiper fluid. There's no noise or vibration, it's much cleaner, it has instant torque and acceleration, which means it's extremely fast, it handles much better than your average car, and even better than most sports cars due to its extremely low center of gravity. And this is because of its unique battery weight distribution. And finally, it's also much, much safer than the standard car. Okay, so what do I mean by safe? Well, I guess this is a good time to move on to some facts about Tesla. Tesla cars are incredibly safe. Tesla's Model S received a five-star rating in every possible category, something which has only been achieved by 1% of cars. And the Model S has set a new record for the lowest likelihood of passenger injury. In the testing of the Model S, it was so strong that it broke the test rig. So why is it so safe? Well, because there's no engine at the front of the car, the whole front behaves like a massive crumple zone, absorbing a lot more impact in the crash. So what about the batteries? In an accident, wouldn't the batteries just blow up and catch fire? Nope, this isn't true. The average petrol car is actually 500% more likely to blow up in a serious accident. And that's mainly because it's a petrol bomb on wheels. Alright, so that all sounds pretty good, but I want some actual proof. It's hard to imagine anyone surviving this crash, but it appears to be further testament to Tesla's safety claims. A stolen Tesla split in half after crashing into a pole during a high-speed police chase in West Hollywood Friday. You can see the back end of the car ended up between the walls of a nearby synagogue. Several people were hurt, but amazingly, no one was killed. Okay, so that's kind of interesting, but what other cool facts are there? If you're in the United States, Tesla has plans for you to travel anywhere for free. This is something that allows you to make a brief stop at one of our Tesla supercharger stations, charge your car very quickly, and be on your way. Something that's unique about the supercharger is that it's free. It's not just free now, it's free forever. The number of Tesla supercharging stations is increasing dramatically. A year from now, we will have covered 80% of the North American population, and within two years, over 98%. So by buying a Tesla, you essentially have free long distance travel throughout the country forever. I think the reasoning behind this is so that Tesla can create a new, better, cleaner infrastructure. And then when electric cars become more widespread, Tesla could begin to generate some income by letting other companies use the system while keeping it free for the end users. This is pure genius. On a single charge, it's possible to go from Boston to New York with 60 miles of range left. Tesla cars are really, really fast. The Tesla Model S can do 0 to 60 miles an hour, or roughly 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, in 3.2 seconds. That's as fast as a McLaren Spyder. Elon Musk almost sold Tesla to Google. In March of 2013, Elon Musk was having a terrible time. Tesla was almost bankrupt, SpaceX wasn't working out, and many people just weren't buying electric cars. Because of this, Elon Musk was actually about to sell the company to Google for $11 billion. But fortunately later that year, things worked out and the rest was history. Tesla wants to power your home. Elon Musk recently just unveiled his latest branch of Tesla, Tesla Energy. Tesla Energy plans to reduce the energy costs of the average household by running houses off a specially designed battery product called the Powerwall. If you want to know more, Please check out my previous video on it. It goes into more detail about the power wall and what it means for society. It'll be the first link in the description below. Okay, so what are some other interesting things about Tesla? Tesla always gives out a lot of its patents for free to encourage competition. Tesla is also planning to release the Tesla 3, which realizes Elon Musk's original dream, the Tesla for the common man. It's costing just $35,000 before incentives. In an odd twist, the watermelon-sized motor that powers Tesla's vehicles is based off an AC motor, a core technology which was patented by none other than Nikola Tesla in 1888. Another interesting fact, autopilot Tesla Model S's have already been in production since late 2014. The latest models include cameras and a set of sonars that give a 360-degree buffer around the car. 
The car can detect road signs, lane markings, obstacles and other vehicles. These features are going to be activated in the future by over-the-air software updates, which I think is a very interesting way of doing things for a vehicle. So, let's finally put things into a bit of perspective here. Just how big is Tesla compared to other car manufacturers out there? Well, as you might have guessed, Tesla isn't the largest auto manufacturer around. They just haven't been around for long enough. And of course, the automotive industry is one of the toughest to break into. So really, that doesn't make any sense. That being said though, Tesla is probably a little bit bigger than you think. Currently, they're already worth more than Fiat, Mitsubishi Motors, Mazda, Renault, or Suzuki. With a market cap of $31 billion, it's almost half as big as Ford Motor Company. Keep in mind that those traditional companies have been around for a long time. So here's a question. How many cars has Tesla sold? So far, about 70,000. General Motors sells that many in three days. However, take a look at this. General Motors market cap is $56 billion. And as said earlier, Tesla's is already $31 billion. So it just goes to show that Tesla is vastly more valued in investors' eyes than traditional companies. And remember, this is all excluding Tesla energy. Also in regards to sales, consider this. Tesla cars are usually sold in shopping malls, not dealerships. In fact, many dealership associations have actually tried to file lawsuits to ban the direct sale of Tesla cars. Incredibly, Tesla sales are banned in the state of Texas. Is it a coincidence that Texas is also the home of big oil? You decide. I have no comment. The company has 10,000 employees and made $3.2 billion in revenue in 2014. Although that number is absolutely dwarfed by the bigger companies out there, it's not bad for just over a decade. Okay, so what does this tell us? Well, stepping aside that most of the financial system is in a bubble right now, so stocks are a bit overvalued, Tesla still does show that a good idea and simply doing things better can still work in today's fast moving world. The automotive industry has been doing basically the same thing for a hundred years, namely putting flammable liquid in confined metal cylinders, blowing it up by either flame or pressure and generating power from it. And then Tesla comes along, breaks into the market and smashes the old norms to pieces. The fact that Tesla is a brand new, smaller company and still manages to cause so much change and instigate a fundamental disruption to the automotive industry is a testament to the innovation of the company. So, is Tesla the future? At this point, it actually kind of seems so. I mean, another company could come out of the blue and do it better than Tesla has, but so far, with innovations such as the supercharger charging station and superior car design, Tesla are well on the way to creating a vibrant, fully electric car industry and the accompanying infrastructure to change the world. So in the wider and deeper sense of things, Elon Musk had a vision, a vision for everyone to own a great electric car. In 2013, his vision almost slipped through his fingers, but he held on to it. And today, he's well on the path to achieving that very vision. So really, if you've got a goal in front of you, always keep striving to achieve it. The road could be a bit windy, but you'll get there in the end. This has been Dagogo, and I want to thank you for watching this Cold Fusion video. Cheers guys, and I'll catch you again soon for the next video.